Okay, so today we're in Wolfham Forest. Wolfham Forest is a London borough in East London. Wolfham Forest is one of the most diverse areas in the country. An estimated 53% of the residents come from minority ethnic background. Many of those whose first language is other than English. The borough is vibrant and culturally rich, benefiting from a blend of ages, heritage and local history. The borough is divided into four areas, Chingford, Walthamstow, Leighton and Leightonstone. Each area has its own identity and heritage, from the Queen Elizabeth Hunting Lodge in Chingford to London's oldest house in Walthamstow. Waltham Forest has one of the highest proportions of children living in both relative and absolute low income families. In 2020 to 2021, 11,201 children under the age of 16 were living in absolute low income families in Waltham Forest, equivalent to 18.4% of children. Now today I'll be discussing two gangs that are at each other's throats in this borough, Marley Strip v Priory Court and how things developed to get to this point. Marley Strip is a gang made up of two sets, LT also known as L Tizzy which stands for Loose Trappers and SJ which stands for St James, named after the location St James Road. L Tizzy is made up of mainly first generation Somali teenagers. Although originally being a small gang, it grew over the years and it will soon grow into conflict with neighbouring Oliver Close gang which ran most of Leighton High Road at the time. Also, we are talking about Walthamstone, so we are going to be mainly focusing on the SJ side of Marley Street. Now PCB aka Priory Court are a gang based on Priory Court Estate E17 Waltham Forest. They also go by Higham Hill Road. Priory Court was originally known as Priory Court Grey Gang as it was part of the Grey Gang Alliance in 2007 alongside gangs such as Hornsby Grey Gang and Busy Block. Now the Drive Gang and Priory Court Gang have been beefing since the early 2000s with a long history of several shootings, stabbings and murders between the two sides. Up until 2017, Marley Street were cool with both sides and did not get involved in the beef. This would however soon change with the death of Marley Street member EJ. Now on the 7th of May 2017, two LGR drug dealers armed with knives waited behind the phone box before pouncing on EJ real name Elijah Dornelli. Now Elijah was able to dodge the first blow from Rebecca Suarez but then was stabbed in the stomach by Morgan Mockford. Now the seriously injured EJ managed to run into a nearby Arabian Nights cafe but suffered massive blood loss and was pronounced dead in hospital two hours later. The death of EJ made Marley's trip a lot more savage. In fact, a few days after EJ's death, Marley Strip member Hammer would shoot up an arcade while trying to shoot the killer of EJ. Police traced EJ's killer's movements to a nearby fast food restaurant and they were identified by local officers before being arrested at their homes on May 15th. Now Mockford of Randolph Road, Walthamstow and Rebecca Suarez of Caxton Road, Southall were found guilty of murder by a majority of 10 to 2 after a three week trial. Mockford, who was 17 at the time, will spend at least 17 years behind bars, whereas Rebecca Suarez was jailed for life with a minimum term of 19 years. Now the significance of EJ's death was that he was very close with Priory Court and with the drive gang and Priory Court beef getting more intense, Marley Strip decided to side with the more historically closer ally and chose the drive gang. Priory Court didn't waste any time letting Marley Strip know how they felt. A few Priory Court members would travel to St James where they would spot several Marley Strip members including Hammer and another SJ member in a subway takeaway shop. The Priory Court members would spray acid on Hammer and stab another SJ member in the chest. Subway worker Jasmine Deer, 28, said he was making a teenager's footlong sub when the hooded gang bust in armed with huge machetes at around 6.40pm on November the 14th. I was terrified he said, I didn't know what to do, there were so many people fighting I couldn't do anything to help. This one guy wearing a mask swung this huge knife and stabbed him below the ribcage. He fell to the floor screaming. His friends gathered around and were holding his wound. They didn't say anything to each other. A spokesman for the Metropolitan Police said four men and four male youths were arrested on suspicion of GBH. 
Both Mali Strip members would soon recover from their injuries and were filled with rage that they would soon channel into revenge. Now two days after being attacked on the 16th of November 2017, Mali Strip members including Hammer, El Mani, Camille etc would get into two cars and travel to Priory Court territory. Soon after they spotted Kasim Mokrain aka Kizzy walking down Higgum Hill Road and they would all hop out and chase him with knives. They would all surround Kizzy who had his back against the wall. Then they proceeded to stab him several times before running back to their cars and speeding off. Kasim Mokrain who was a member of Priory Court would die four days later in hospital. Immediately after the murder, Hammer flew to Pakistan. Now as tit for tat's go, angered by the death of Kizzy, Priory Court members were seeking revenge. The same day that Kasim had officially been pronounced dead, Priory Court members went on a ride out armed with a submachine gun. It was in the territory of the Drive Gang who were linked with Marley Strip where they would spot Khan Chick aka Caps a member of the drive gang and shot him twice. Fortunately, Cap survived but had permanent issues to his leg. Now forward to 2018, after having issues with his passport, Hammer was forced to return to the UK. Immediately after returning, Hammer was back gang banging, just five days after returning to the UK. On the 14th of March 2018, Hammer Loic Nengis, also known as Els, and Keems were all members of the Mali Strip gang, armed themselves with a pistol and travelled on foot to Priory Court territory. Now Joseph William Torres aka Nino was a Priory Court member. He was listening to music in his van with his friend when he was ambushed by the three men. Hammer would draw a pistol and shoot Nino several times in the chest at point blank range and then shoot his legs when he tried to get out of the van. After the shooting, all three attackers fled. Nino died on the way to hospital less than an hour later. Now Keems ended up dropping his phone at the scene which is what led to the three being arrested so soon after the murder. Hammer real name Hamza 21, Loic Nengiz 19 and the 16 year old Keems all denied his murder. Miss Hunter said the defenders were friends who were associated with the same gang which had become increasingly violent and angry since the murder of one of their own Elijah Dornelli back in May 2017. They were engaged in a turf war with other gangs jurors heard. In November 2017, Hamza had been squirted with acid and another boy was stabbed by a group of mass hooded males in Walthamstow, the court also heard. Hamza presumed it was gang rivals as they set out to avenge the attack on March 14th, jurors were told. Now Keems admitted to being at the scene but declined to name who he was with, saying it was not his co-accused. He claimed he thought it was going to be a robbery and did not know anything about a gun. All three would be sentenced to 20 plus years for the murder of Joseph in 2019. Now it didn't look like things were going to get any better in Walthamstone, as just a month later on the 2nd of April 2018, Priory Court members would be looking for revenge for the murder of Nino. They would arm themselves with a shotgun and a machete and drive into Marley Strip territory with murder on their mind. They would spot Amar Shakur and his friends outside Walthamstow Leisure Centre. Amar was gunned down, shot in the face while they stabbed his friend in the arm. The Priory Court members then fled the scene. It is said by many that a man was a civilian but may have been around some gang members. His innocence was echoed by a man who gave his name only as Osman, 32 years old, speaking at the scene about Amar Shakur. He was just a good lad, he wasn't involved in gangs or drugs or anything like that. It was a case of mistaken identity, he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. There are gang wars going on and this young lad just unfortunately got caught up in it. A man's murder still remains unsolved. Now on the 22nd of September 2018, Guled Farah, a 19 year old civilian would be getting out of his car in Valentin Road which is territory of the drive gang. A car would pull up and Guled would be shot. He died around 40 minutes later. A post-mortem examination gave his cause of death as a gunshot wound to the chest. It is believed that Guled Farah was mistaken as a gang member, but he was in fact a civilian from Newham. Delston Galloway, 25 years old, who was a Priory Court member, would later be charged with the murder, but was acquitted on the 27th of September 2019 and discharged after the Crown Prosecution Service dropped the case. Now in December 2018, Daniel Fokoya aka Kodak, a member of Priory Court and two other men drove a stolen car into Leighton High Road, territory of Marley Strip. They were armed with a loaded gun, 
a knife and ammonia. They encountered and chased four members of Marley Strip until they ran and hid inside an off license. Kodak attempted to flee in his car but took a turn too quickly and crashed, narrowly missing pedestrians. He ran from the scenes but officers identified him from the blood on their airbag. A loaded handgun was found in the footwell of the driver's seat. While awaiting trial from prison, Kodak ran a drugs line. Kodak's cell was raided by the officers where they found 80 wraps of cocaine as well as recorded prison phone calls detailing his drug network. Now Paul Jenkins, senior crown prosecutor said the many offences for which Kodak was found guilty illustrate the true extent of his involvement in the criminal underworld despite his young age. Daniel Fakoya, aka Kodak is a member of a dangerous criminal gang and set out on the evening to cause someone some really serious harm. His removal from London streets will make the capital a safer place. Daniel Fakoya previously pleaded guilty to aggravated driving and was found guilty by a jury of eight other counts including conspiracy to possess a firearm, conspiracy to cause grievously body harm and conspiracy to supply controlled drugs. Daniel was later sentenced to 15 years in prison. During 2020, while Hammer was serving his life sentence, he and other Marley Strip members were charged for the murder of Cassim Mulcrane, aka Kizzy from Pirate Court who he had killed six months before Joseph. It was also revealed that when police searched Hammer's house, they found a list that he wrote which he had names of ops he wanted to kill. Joseph and Kasim's names were crossed off the list. Now on the evening of October 23rd, 2020, Priory Courts members travelled into Marley Strip territory. Priory Court members spotted Bubaka Jabi Dukara, who was also known as Bubba. He was stabbed in the chest and collapsed on his doorstep in a pool of blood after being attacked by five teenagers just a feet from his home in Walthamstow. Now Samuel Bartley, 19, Jamal Daki Saga Benitez, also 19, Alfie Ferguson, also 19, and Kayan Dekodova, 20, were found guilty of murder. Makaya, who was 15 at the time, was not part of the trial because he was taken abroad by his family and only returned to the UK a week before it started. Now, Bubaka was a civilian, so the trend of prior court members killing civilians in the spur of the moment continued. Baba's devastated parents and siblings described him as loving, friendly, popular, quiet young man. His mother said the vile killers had not only taken Baba's life but ruined that of his family by their evil barbaric acts. The judge added that Bubaka was not the intended target, he was just there and together with others in your group, you killed him. Your victim was defenceless and unarmed. Now Alfie Ferguson was sentenced to 22 years. Kayan was sentenced to 20 years. Samuel Bartley was sentenced to 19 years. Jamal Benitez was sentenced to 17 years and 15 year old Joy Mackay was sentenced to 15 years. Now in 2020, a police raid which ended up in 24 members of SJ being arrested and taken off the streets occurred. Over 300 officers executed warrants across 27 addresses in St James Street area of Walthamstow on the 4th of March. Detectives seized Class A and B drugs, large amounts of cash and several zombie style knives. The early morning operations followed the five month investigation in partnership with Waltham Forest Council as part of a proactive operation to tackle the drivers of violent crime and act on community concerns. This had a positive ripple effect as the war simply died down due to the lack of rival members on the streets. And now I've come to the end of this chapter. As always I send my condolences to the family of everyone I mentioned. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as it goes a long way. For uncensored and longer content of these videos, subscribe to my Patreon. Till the next time.